Hello, low poly fans. Welcome to Kane in 3D Story Mode. Today, we're modeling the trench run scene from Star Wars A New Hope. So this is one of my favorite Star Wars movies, and I'm sure many of you can agree that this Star Wars film will always be a classic piece of cinema magic. Released all the way back in 1977, A New Hope holds a special place in many people's hearts. It's a roller coaster of a sci-fi film filled with emotion, action, mystery, and just some very well done story writing in general. That being said, it wasn't always one of my favorite Star Wars films. And if I'm being completely honest, my favorite Star Wars film would have to be The Empire Strikes Back. But I recently gained a new appreciation of A New Hope just as a genre defining film. It's just so well rounded and self contained that I really started to see why so many people enjoyed it. One of the best scenes in the film is the one I'm modeling here, the trench run scene. It takes place as the Death Star is getting into position to obliterate the Rebel base on Yavin 4. It's the Rebels' last effort to save the Rebellion from annihilation by mounting an attack on the Death Star. In order to exploit a critical flaw in the Death Star's design and destroy it, they have to fly down a trench and fire proton torpedoes at an exhaust port, which will trigger a reaction and destroy the Death Star. One interesting thing that I learned about the scene is that it's actually inspired by a 1955 British film called Dam Busters. The scene which inspired a lot of the trench run scene involved British pilots having to fly low over water at night under enemy fire to deliver a specially designed bomb to a precise target in order to destroy three German dams. A lot of the shots from Dam Busters look almost identical to the ones in A New Hope and some of the dialogue is actually word for word. Listen to this line of dialogue from the film Dam Busters. How many guns do you think there are, Trevor? I say there's about 10 guns. Some in the field and some in the dark. Now listen to the one from A New Hope. How many guns do you think, go five? Say about 20 guns. Some on the surface, some on the towers. So yeah, it's pretty clear where George Lucas got his inspiration for this intense scene. Not only that, but a few key members of the Star Wars team actually worked on the movie Dam Busters. Gilbert Taylor, which was A New Hope's cinematographer, was special effects photographer on Dam Busters. This made him a good choice to help Lucas plan out some of the sequences involving the attack on the Death Star. Another team member that worked on Dam Busters was Stuart Freeborn, who did makeup on the World War II film. Then he went on to create Chewbacca, Yoda, and many of the iconic creatures in the original Star Wars trilogy. Something else I remember about the scene which I learned from the bonus content in the Star Wars trilogy special edition was that in order to make the Death Star, a, a lot of the scenes in the film they used practical effects. So they actually built the Death Star out of pieces of I think model plane kits. They cannibalized thousands of model kits and essentially kit bashed the whole Death Star surface for the scene. Imagine how long that would take. In the end though, I think the whole sequence was brilliant. The scene is a pretty intense one. It keeps you on the edge of your seat and I had a lot of fun modeling this one. I hope you enjoyed the first ever story mode video. I'm looking forward to making more of these moving forward. Thanks for checking out my channel and I'll see you next time.